All right, well, I'm going to share with you uh, my idea of my retirement. I'm 43 now. Um, my company uh, has basically a 15 year retirement uh, plan, and I'm already over five years into that um, Social Security and savings. But I don't really expect um, that to be a lot of money. Uh, I think that. Um, the system in general, overall, for the vast majority of us, is not designed to leave us rich and retired. Um, so my idea is, um, and, and I think that I've spent a lot of my life practicing this, my idea is I'm going to live a life of poverty well, a, as a traveler, uh, as my theme, um, uh, and be retired. So here's what I, here's what I see and object to. Uh, and people's, the people who retire. They either try to replicate their work experience in their retirement lives or they uh, treat their retirement like a really long weekend uh, with nothing really very special or out of the ordinary happening like going out to the bar, having a, going out to eat a restaurant, um, occasionally taking a trip somewhere. But mostly, you know, hanging out in their house, watching TV, reading books, just doing your house stuff, uh, um, re-roofing and uh, um, taking their uh, their car in to the DEQ to get uh, its tags. But all those things, like your expensive house and your car and property taxes and upkeep and all those things, like, I almost see that as a, as a work necessity, not a life necessity. And uh, I have experiences uh, living and working um, home free. Uh, I lived in my van uh, for over a year and worked. Um, I, uh, I've done long, uh, long trips of uh, extended periods of time uh, where I just traveled by bicycle actually because that was the other thing. It's like I don't want a car and I don't want a house. Um, those things cost a fortune and they never stop costing a fortune. Um, I just want, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I just want a good pair of boots or a good bicycle and uh, uh, very few possessions and I just want to uh, travel about because then it's just your energy that's that's what gets you around and uh, what you're paying for typically is just food and, it's, and if you live like a vegetarian lifestyle uh, food doesn't really cost that much um, especially if you prepare it yourself um, you know I just don't see anything wrong with that. As a matter of fact, I, I see that my one concern is like as you get older, uh, you're not as fit or as healthy, but that kind of retirement plan almost has a built-in uh, health plan. If I'm going to be bicycling uh, week after week or month after month um, or, or walking, um, I'm going to get fit and I'm going to be active uh, both physically and mentally. I'm going to be meeting lots of people. Uh, I might even learn foreign languages. I might take Spanish and head south, and uh, yeah, spend a life of just kind of exploring and simple living. I think that I mean that's my my plan right now, because I don't really see me uh, re retiring um, with very much money. I probably see myself working way into way past the point. Um, where I would have hoped to have stopped working. Uh, but at some point in time, I do hope to stop working and uh, start walking. So, so that's my idea right now at uh, 43, the Kung Fu Retirement Plan, just to walk the earth. <laughs>